like my lucky stars to be living here today. Cause the flag still stands for freedom and they can't take that away. And I'm proud to be an American where at least I know I'm free. As many of you know, I love our U.S. military. My father was a prisoner of war in World War II, literally rescued by American troops. And that generation, especially of World War II veterans, and, you know, I think of so many times, I think of these young faces at the other side of the riverbed telling my father he's free and that he literally is saved from a nightmare. And that generation, believe it or not, is fading. You know, there's not that many of them left. And I think it's so important that we capture the stories and real stories of incredible heroism. And my next guest knows how important that is all too well. I'm so glad he's here in the studio with us. Uh, Jeffrey Worthington is a veteran international travel photographer, video producer, and he's the project director of a great new project, and the contest launches today. I'm so glad that you're here announcing it. And it's the iHistory World War II Video Contest. Jeffrey, great to have you here. Tell us about how this idea came about. Well, thank you for having me, Rita. I really appreciate it. And um, the contest, I don't know, it it was one of those things where we have, um, where I realized several years ago how quickly these uh, veterans are passing away. And so we wanted to create um, a project that would motivate high school students to go out and interact with World War II veterans. How important is it to kind of, I guess, eliminate the disconnect because it has been many generations now and you know the other day I was talking to somebody about Vietnam and I could almost tell there was this glaze over their face I thought oh my goodness do they know anything about Vietnam do they know anything about Korea do they know anything about World War II how important is it to bridge the gap especially for our young people to understand some of these incredible stories of World War II and other and other wars too well, um, I personally believe that it, it's really important, um, especially because the school curriculums today are are so packed because there's so much stuff for the teachers to go over. And so this is really a great resource um, for um, for students to go out and interact with these veterans one on one and just not. Uh, just not recite um, or or learn memorized facts about World War II, but actually talk with the veterans that that were there in order so that they can further understand um, World War II, which is a huge part of world history. Absolutely. And you know what I think is great? It's not only helping the students and getting young people involved and getting firsthand accounts. It's also recognizing the veterans. I think there's sort of a twofold, too, because they feel appreciated and they feel like their stories are going to be memorialized. And as you're pointing out, um, there's 1.2 million World War II veterans still living today, but they're passing very quickly. They're up in age and getting those stories. Now, not only will the lucky uh, participants and especially the winners uh, get some great recognition, they're going to be, what, in the Library of Congress? Tell us about how cool this is. Yes, absolutely. One of the requirements is that after students interview uh, the veterans is that they send off uh, that interview in its uh, full length. Uh, to the Library of Congress. And it just isn't going to go to the library and just sit there on some shelf. Researchers are going to be going over these documentations to to learn more about specific uh, battles and perspectives and what was going on um, at that time. How cool is that? So it's going to be in the archives, the permanent archives of Library of Congress. How can people find out? Because this is launching today and everyone talk about a great project um, for your child to be involved in. Or maybe on the flip side, you have a relative who was part of World War II who wants to participate as well. And um, as many of you know here, too, especially at WOR and part of Clear Channel, we're so proud to be owned by Clear Channel. WOR, you know, is the leading iHeartRadio show, Your Stripes Movement uh, station. We are so involved in this, I think, and we're so big at supporting the Show Your Stripes movement, which is involved in hiring veterans and also recognizing veterans' talents. So we're big patriots, and I'm a big patriot, so I'm so glad that you're here. But how can people find out if they want to participate, whether it's a relative or whether it's a young child who wants to get involved and learn about this generation? Yes, well, they can go to our website. It's uh, heroes-ww2.org, and we've got all the information um, right there for both educators and students. Very cool. Again, everyone, it's heroes-ww2.org. And if you want to interview a veteran from World War II, 
um, go online also if you're a veteran or you have a relative from World War II so we can connect and really remind everybody, I think, of the greatest generation. And I think there's some wonderful lessons from that generation that carry over and I think are timeless. And it's important to get them now before it's too late. Thank you so much, Jeff Worthington. Thank you. It's a great, great project. And everybody, heroes-ww2.org. The contest launches today. So get involved. I love it. Fantastic.